friends, welcome to the e-learning platform, an initiative by Science Park, Savitribai Phule, Pune University. Let's start our session for Standard 8. Here I am covering Chapter 13 from SSC Board and Chapter 6 uh, from CBSE Board for, from Standard 7. And the title of current session is Chemical Change and Chemical Bond. Now what are chemical changes? Now we always come across certain things in our daily chores like photosynthesis. We always see that pl plants do photosynthesis. That is nothing but chemical change. Then our digestion. We eat so many things and we digest them. So digestion is a chemical change. Baking, cooking, combustion, all these are chemical changes. Other than that, iron rusting, burning wood, Metabolism, cooking an egg, electroplating, rotting bananas, uh, vinegar, the reaction between vinegar and baking soda which is very famous and we have already done it in last year in Science Park. Fireworks, everything is a chemical change. Now how to recognize a chemical reaction? The first step to recognizing chemical reaction in the world around you is to identify when a reaction is taking place. Chemical reactions cause chemical changes. In other words, substances interact with each other and form a new product. Not every change in matter is a chemical reaction. For example, melting ice, tearing a sheet of paper into strips, dissolving sugar in water are all our physical changes that don't change the chemical identity of matter. Here are some signs of chemical reaction. If more than one sign is pre present, it's like a reaction has occurred. Okay? So first is temperature change. Change in color. Change in odor. Bubbling or gas production. We always see this uh, uh, bubbling or gas production as an effervescence in chemical language. Formation of a solid called as a precipitate when liquids are mixed. All these are chemical changes. These chemical changes can be classified as natural chemical changes and man-made chemical changes. Now henceforth, whatever, let's start watching chemical changes one by one. And now your job is to write all the chemical changes that we are discussing here and list them under the heading natural chemical changes or man-made chemical changes. So pause the video here, write down these two columns in your notebook as natural chemical changes and man-made chemical changes. And as we go further in the video, list all the changes that we are discussing here under the headings. Okay. Now, what are the signs of chemical changes we saw? First is precipitation or change in color. So, now in India, we never come across uh, different changes in colors of leaves. But here, green color of leaf always changes to brown, right? So, that is a color change. It's a chemical change. Now, precipitation is the formation of a solid in the liquid. This is the example of a chemical change. This formation of solid is called as a precipitation. A precipitate is a solid that forms in a solution due to chemical reaction. Now next change is gas production and temperature change. In fireworks, when the uh, reaction happens, the temperature changes, right? A sign of a chemical change is when a gas is produced. If you put an antacid, you can do this reaction at home very easily. You can um, take, a, take an antacid like a tablet of omaze and mix it with, uh, take, a, um, take water in a cup, add baking soda, cooking soda in that, add citric acid. You always get citric acid uh, in a grocery, grocery store. So you can uh, add citric acid in that, dissolve it well and then put a tablet of antacid like omaze. The bubbles of carbon dioxide gas will be produced there. So this is a chemical change. 
formation of gas upon mixing of chemicals likely means a chemical change has happened okay remember always now here i have given you a reaction now this is a very common reaction we have done this reaction last year in science park this is a reaction between vinegar and baking soda this is the example of a chemical change now vinegar you always get in a grocery store this is nothing but 10% of acetic acid okay baking soda is sodium bicarbonate when you mix acetic acid that is vinegar with sodium bicarbonate you get sodium acetate water and carbon dioxide when two reactants are mixed their atoms rearrange into new patterns that form three new components these three new components now this is the photograph of the reaction which i did the signs of a chemical change are many gas bubbles come across huh? these are filled with carbon dioxide gas this is one product of the reaction second product is water and the last product is sodium acetate sodium acetate is commonly used in textile rubber and paper industries a chemical change occurs when fireworks are used fireworks are made up of metals such as magnesium copper nickel strontium lithium and so not what not these change chemically as they lit up in the sky now lighter fluid burns this is a chemical change okay another example of chemical changes are sugar dissolving in tea or tea bag dissolved in tea then logs burns in a fire hood breaking water by separating into hydrogen and oxygen can also be a chemical change toast burning is a chemical change that we always come across in our daily chores rocket fuel fuel, fuel burning is a chemical change metal rusting is a chemical change now a starting substance let's get to know more about the chemistry behind it and let's start writing down the uh, reactions a starting substance in a chemical reaction is called as a reactant a new substance which is produced is called as a product we say that reactant yields products and we write it as we always and always write all the reactants to our left hand side then we write an arrow and then we write our products okay never mistake by writing a reaction okay now here i have given you a reaction very simple reaction burning of wood whenever a wood log burns the lignin of that wood reacts the carbon carbon from the lignin of the wood reacts with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and we call it as a burning this is a chemical reaction chemical reactions may occur between atoms molecules or compounds a common example of chemical reaction is formation of carbon dioxide okay now here this diagram shows fire causing a chemical reaction between carbon and oxygen molecules now in this reaction you have to star the reactant and box the product pause the video here write down this reaction in your notebook star the reactants make a star underline the reactants and put a box to the product resume the video and see your uh, check your answers whether they are correct or not now the reactants which are here in this reaction are carbon and oxygen they are chemically changing into a product that is carbon dioxide now here fire provides the necessary energy needed for the molecules to rearrange now here again pause the video write down all these uh, things which which i have listed here like tear up paper mixing the salt and water burning of a paper evaporating uh, salt water and mixing vinegar and baking soda and 
after every point you have to write, write down whether this change is a physical change or a chemical change after that you can check your answers with me as tearing paper is a physical change mixing salt and water is a physical change but burning a paper is a chemical change evaporating salt water is a physical change it is not a chemical change mixing vinegar and baking soda is always a chemical change now after knowing so much write a paragraph about the difference between chemical change and physical change and give some examples for chemical change and physical change now in totality the total number of atoms remains the same in any reaction now these four points you have to remember always whenever you write down a reaction atoms are neither created nor destroyed so they are simply rearranged due to a chemical reaction for example same number of atoms are in the reactants and products okay now in the above reaction you can go back and count the number of carbons and oxygens or the number of carbon hydrogen and oxygen in the reaction of vinegar and baking soda atoms simply rearrange into new combinations in a chemical reaction the change in combinations of atoms is what gives the products new and different properties atoms are neither gained nor lost during chemical changes they are always conserved molecular models like the one you just saw show you how the atoms are rearranged in the products thank you